Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads, and today we're going to take a look at the Reader Pen, which allows you to scan over text and have it read back to you. So let's take a look. Hello, my name is Tiffany Sunday, and I am Business Development Director for Scanning Pens, and I'm also the author of Dyslexia's Competitive Edge, and today I'm going to show you information about the C-Pen Reader Pen. I'm also dyslexic, so I'm going to talk about the four key features that help mitigate a lot of the challenges that dyslexic students, and you can hear my dyslexia in my voice, and also dyslexic adults can encounter either in school or during the office. So the first one we're going to talk about, number one, the feature is reading. It's like text to reader. So the pen, if you can see, I'll hold it up. What it does is it, it will instantly scan across much like a highlighter and it will take in the text and it instantly reads. And so for like most dyslexics, we need to see and hear the word together to understand the word, especially if you do not decode like I do. And so you can read along. For students, this is great in classroom because then they don't get behind. They can put their earbuds in and they can read along with the text. The second feature is the dictionary component and they can scan a word that they do not know. They can also scan a word that they're unfamiliar with or they're not sure if that is the word. A great example is compliment. For dyslexics, we never know which compliment we're referring to. Either it's a compliment you want to give someone or if it's a compliment to like a building or something. But there's a lot of tricky words out there, but the students or the adults can always check using the dictionary function. The third function is the scan to file feature, which is really handy, especially for students that have dysgraphia and have trouble like writing long. Um, text. For example, my son is dyslexic and he uses it to scan over his chemistry labs or history questions or anything that takes a lot of writing. So he will scan the text. It immediately goes into the computer via the USB port, Chromebook. It's compatible with just about everything. It's a simple HTML file. And then he can type his answers and then upload the file instantly to his teachers. This saves time. It also gives the students ability to you know, process the work in a faster means. The fourth one is an audio recorder. And this is handy in two ways. If the student is using it, and if you have registered the device as like a one-on-one -on -one component, like they get the, the device and they can have it all day in school, what they'll do is they can leave themselves memos. For example, don't forget the Spanish test tomorrow. Miss Smith just said, I need to bring in a report for tomorrow for history. It is a great reminder because oftentimes dyslexics or individuals with learning differences also have sometimes with memory. Our memory can be kind of wonky. Some days it's great and some days it's not so great. Also, they can also use this as a means to test themselves. Like my son will auto record his vocab list into the pen and then plays it back and he quizzes himself. Dyslexic and LD students are very, we, we talk and learn. So we, we, if we can teach it and learn it back. So we tend to learn better by talking to people than to write something down. So remember the C-Pen Reader Pen is great. It has four key features. It reads, it has a dictionary, it scans to file, and it has an audio component so you can leave your notes behind. So if you have a student that may need this, check it out and you can go to www.scanningpens.com. So that's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.